viewers. You are welcome once again to Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform. Nigeria High Standard Universities are specially selected universities that have carved a niche for themselves through quality standard and modern infrastructural development. To participate in this special TV report, the university must be recognized, accredited, and of course, licensed by the National Universities Commission of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Our special report today is on Kanu University of Science and Technology Wodeo in Kanu State, Nigeria, West Africa. I am Sonny in Cape Snatchy Davids. We'll be back after this time out. Please don't go away. Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526, 0818-708-2257, 0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. Kanu University of Science and Technology is one of the universities in Nigeria with high-level prospect in what can be referred to as the golden future. The school has produced respectful men and women of high repute who are serving in different fields of endeavor within and outside the country. A school that started with a few number of students has witnessed tremendous level of growth in both human and infrastructural development. The process of establishing Kano University of Science and Technology would deal begun in 1973 during the administration of the first military governor, police commissioner, late Al-Haji Audu Bako, in which Justice Sani Aikawa's committee was established to advise government on how the state can own a university that can cater for manpower requirements. Consequently, in 1999, Approval was granted by the National University Commission, NUC, for the state to establish a university. In January 2000, the dream for the establishment of this prestigious university came alive by His Excellency, the then Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Rabiu Musa Wonkuso, under the chairmanship of the Deputy Governor, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduji. An 11-member implementation committee was constituted under the chairmanship of Professor Omar Garuba Dambata to realize the takeoff of the university. By April 2001, the university commenced academic activities with 88 students and two faculties, namely Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology and Faculty of Science and Science Education. Presently, the university runs 22 programs in five different faculties with a population of 12,893 students. The five faculties include Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Science and Science Education, Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, Faculty of Computing and Mathematical Sciences, Faculty of Earth and Environmental Sciences. The establishment of Kano University of Science and Technology, Wudiu, was strategic and of course timely. The new university brought recognition and rapid development to the Wudiu community in the area of business and other economic activities. The coming on board of the present Vice Chancellor, Professor Shu Al Haji Musa, can only be best described as inserting a square peg into a square hole. He came with a vision consumed by a passion full of energy and dynamism. This is how he's been described by the staff. Well, the Vice Chancellor is a young and very dynamic person, and he has an open door policy. And to be frank and sincere, I have never seen a Vice Chancellor who is always out, under the rain, under the sun, going out to see that 
this place is developed. Another interesting aspect of the school is the presence of different intervention agencies and numerous building and academic infrastructural facilities donated by the prominent indigents, state government and university chancellor in the person of Al-Haji Aluku Dangote and other well-meaning full Nigerians. Some of these projects are in their starting point, ongoing, near completion and as well as completed ones with all facilities in place. Some of the university's unique features and notable achievements include harmony on campus, staff development and promotion, robust academic programs, collaborations and partnership with relevant agencies, strong security and networking system, and well-trained security operators. Our crew also spoke with students and other key officers of the university. Uh, it was when they won a national competition on computer IT something. They won that award as the first position in Nigeria. That's the first step that made me to develop interest in joining the institution. Of course, I don't need to say much about the qualities of the lecturers we have because the world has already known about it through the students, which are the agents of the university. Uh, by winning the awards, it shows that the lecturers are really doing well. The lecturers, let me see, they are friendly in terms of lecturing. They are really friendly and they assist us. Whenever we have problem, we go to them. They listen to us. So this is fostering or is linking activities of students with the management is seeing to the welfare and the well-being of the students. My greatest joy really is to see students' welfare is being taken care of very well. And uh, another thing is the relationship between the way students see the management. That also is very important. That is also one of the important functions of this dinner to harmonize some of the policies that the university will be rolling out from time to time so that it will be interpreted in simple terms to the students so that they will see those policies are not against them, they are not anti-students because students may not see some of the better sides of the policies but if you are here or as a team you should be able to interpret them in a simple way they can understand and you should always be able to deduce some of the benefits that are going to be derived by implementing those policies and by them also keeping to, the, to those policies. Let's hear from the Vice Chancellor himself. The initiative to establish the university date back to the period of uh, late Commissioner Audubaco. Uh, but the establishment of the university came to be in 2000, uh, precisely following the committee that has been set up. Uh, by the then executive governor of Kano State Engineer Dr. Ivy Musa Konkoso and the committee was chaired by the current governor, incidentally the current governor and the visitor of the university, uh, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduji. Uh, the university started in effectively, in, it was established in 2000, uh, admission and other protocols started in 2001. Uh, we started with one faculty um, and currently we have um, seven faculties. Um, with a total undergraduate population of uh, about 13,836 uh, and so far a number of uh, graduates um, have been you know, uh, passed through the university system and the faculties in brief are Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology, Faculty of Engineering and Engineering Technology, Faculty of Earth and Environmental Sciences and then Faculty of Science, Faculty of Science Education and then uh, Faculty of Computing and Mathematical uh, sciences. The university currently run uh, 27 academic uh, uh, programs. Uh, the university came into being uh, in April 2000 and then it took up in April 2001 with a population of 88 students with 22 academic staff and about 40 non-academic staff. I'm happy to tell you that today the university has over 12,000 students with about 800, let me be specific, with 846 teaching and non-teaching staff. Kano University of Science and Technology achieved this with the various leadership it had. 
we, we always have a free and fair uh, interaction with the students and the staff. I, I believe Nigerian universities are making headway um, from all perspectives. Um, perhaps I will not say that uh, it is um, uh, Uhuru yet, but then definitely there are a lot of progress that has been recorded. Uh, for example, if you take the era of infrastructure, a lot of programs have been, you know, recorded by all, not only the universities, but even all tertiary institutions, uh, consequent of the intervention of um, tertiary education fund, um, TET fund. And uh, in our own case, the South government has done a lot in terms of uh, provision of uh, physical infrastructure. Uh, by and large, I think why we are rating, uh, number of people are rating the Nigerian uh, university is a little bit low is probably because of our visibility uh, in the internet world uh, and I believe that uh, if you take um, uh, Kano University of Science and Technology as a case in point uh, we're currently making a giant stride all the ICT infrastructure has been laid up, I mean laid down uh, and therefore our visibility and I believe the visibility of many Nigerian universities um, you know will, will be better assessed Remember, most of this ranking rely heavily on your visibility on the internet. Uh, and once the internet aspect of uh, tertiary in education will be improved, I can assure you the ranking of the university system and other tertiary institutions in Nigeria uh, will, be, will, be, will be much more visible. My duties uh, is the, uh, managing the ICT infrastructure of the university and uh, also uh, coordinating the programs because we are running different programs uh, in the center we maintain some of the uh, ict facilities uh, of the center we have um, uh, recorded a tremendous achievement in terms of research uh, but uh, close to that also uh, the university is doing a lot of work in terms of uh, jam plasm for maize and coffee which is also a very very uh, good area uh, very soon uh, in one or two years to come you will hear varieties that has been developed by this university in terms of maize and in terms of coffee uh, but whatever standard this is a very good um, uh, research outcome and as we have rightly said the issue of potato we have uh, gone for we have done all the agroecological trials for the varieties and we have identified varieties that best suit different ecological zone. Why did the university undertake this endeavor? Is because we want to have a better relationship between the university and the community. Universities are supposed to serve communities. It is no longer time for universities to do research that may only be for academic exercise. And therefore we want to make a difference and we therefore decided to venture into issues that have direct relevance uh, you know with the community it is our intention to expand beyond the scope of the state and why we did that is because a number of our farmers are engaged in tomato uh, production and we all know the growth that is actually affecting uh, tomato producers so we want to provide a soccer for them we want to provide a buffer alternative for them we want to provide a sort of um, second best option for them and i can assure you this Irish potato issue is going to make a remarkable difference on the socio-economic well-being of the people. In addition to this, uh, we are currently pursuing an ongoing work in the area of solar energy. Remember, this is a University of Science and Technology, and we want to mount programs that will be dealing with you know, solar studies, and um, that will help in really moving the university very closer to the community. And at this point, I want to inform you that the Chancellor of the University, uh, Elijah Aliu Kodongote, GCON, um, has also uh, given the university a very good um, 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 support in terms of giving the university the mandate to develop an agricultural master blueprint that will cover uh, virtually the, the, the mostly the northern part of the country and by extension uh, the you know uh, all over the country. Um, he gave us the mandate to develop this blueprint in the area of rice production in the area of sugarcane production, in the area of tomato production, in the area of farm oil and fish. These are five commodities that he has actually asked the university to lead in that direction. And to that effect, he has um, tried to you know, connect us 
um, was a good number of um, outfits that will help the university in packaging this. His plan is to have a network of over 1 million palmers. 1 million palmers that will be covered under this arrangement. The university is currently actively working on that. We have um, uh, first the first stage and we are now in the second stage. We have done the master uh, plan from internal perspective and we are subjecting the master plan to some sort of uh, external baiting. And this is what we intend to achieve in this university. Being a university of science and technology, we want to drive the process of making direct community impact um, with our clientele group. Um, all the um, um, courses that we are running are actually science and technology based courses. And happily, with the entrepreneurship center that has been established, uh, consequent of the federal government intervention, um, some of the support that we have received from the state government intervention, we want to ensure that we graduate you know, students that will receive functional, effective education that will enable them to carry on you know, um, um, with the mantle of um, engaging in business, um, entrepreneurship and innovations. Recent innovation from uh, crop science department where they just uh, uh, brought a hybrid of Irish potato that can be used, uh, that can be planted in this part of the region. Mostly we used to buy Irish potato from Jaws and uh, Kaduna area. But now we have the gut to produce Irish in Wodil, Lambert and their local governments with the research department of uh, uh, crop science. In other research areas, the university have also uh, secured the TET fund, uh, funding in various areas especially uh, one has been secured from the Faculty of Earth and Environmental Sciences, some in the sciences, uh, some in agriculture, the one that I have uh, previously mentioned to you. And uh, recently, we have also announced a package that will encourage people to engage in um, research and, and development uh, issues. The, the current director for research and development has actually come up with a complete and comprehensive list of all the industries that are in Kano, and it is our intention uh, to really use our research and development unit to serve those industries uh, as research and development unit of, uh, of their own unit. We are doing all this so that we make sure that the gap between what the industry require and what the universities are producing is actually being minimized in such a way that we produce graduates that will be ready for employment within the available industries that are on board. And as you are also rightly aware, uh, the current uh, government of um, uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari is coming up with a slogan for change. And that change involves change in agriculture, change in industry, change in employment, change in the way we do things, change in attitude, change in so many things. And I want to assure you that the university is getting prepared uh, to really key into those aspects, especially in terms of uh, employment, industrial revolution, contributions of science and technology in the development process. And that is why currently the R&D department is actually um, collating all the research output done by individual and group within the university. And then we create a master program, uh, a, a kind of a gigantic program that will showcase our R&D um, initiative. And very soon, uh, the university will celebrate its 15 years of existence. And I want to assure you what we intend to do is to have a science and technology exhibition that will invite all people that are in the area of um, um, industrial development uh, and other outfits, um, agriculture, engineering, uh, computer studies, sciences, uh, science education to come on board to see what the university was able to do uh, to accomplish so far. The faculty consists of uh, three departments, that is the Department of Mathematics, Department of Computer Science and Department of Statistics. By this combination, one can easily deduce that uh, it will make a serious impact in the university. Especially while we talk of a special university being called the University of Science and Technology. You know, it's not, it's not just like a conventional university where you have uh, other courses which are non-science. All the courses here are science-based courses. And when you look at mathematics, computer, and perhaps statistics, and you talk about science, then naturally you can even imagine uh, the impact. But generally speaking, we shoulder and uh, we, uh, well, let me say we take we shoulder the weight of the entire university. If you take, for instance, mathematics department alone, 
the entire mathematics, I mean level 100 students of the university are mathematics students because they have general courses in first and second semesters. Like in this second semester, they have two courses, uh, vectors, and, uh, uh, vectors geometry and dynamics, that's one course, and uh, calculus and its application, another course. So you can see, this is just a, a very clear uh, uh, direction that uh, the impact is very enormous. And when you go to 200 level, eight department out of the uh, 23 we have, all programs rather, are all mathematics students level 200. When you go to 300 level, the same thing. For example, if you pick engineering, faculty of engineering, we have civil, electrical, and mechanical engineering department. All of them are mathematics students. So if you take out mathematics department from the university, then the university must be closed. Similarly, computer science, because we are in the era of IT. If you look at level 100, as well as you have their um, uh, computer science student, I mean courses, which is they undertake. 200 level and up to 300 level is some few courses. So they have our department. So they have our uh, computer too. When you take away computer from the university, then the university will more stagger. Uh, so generally speaking, I can say, uh, if you want to talk about the the impact of the faculty on the university, it's just you like you are you are trying to to rename the faculty as the entire university. We have 123 security guards. They take care, we have so many bits, we detail them uh, in three shifts, they work 24 hours. Uh, their main duty is to be in the bits and to report immediately after for any incident. Um, we have a very good uh, understanding and work relationship uh, with um, um, Shadra University in India. We're also currently working with Shenyang Agricultural University in China. We're also working with Chinese Academy of Sciences uh, in China as well. Uh, we have a very good um, working understanding with Russian Agricultural University in Russia. We have a very good understanding with Oglich um, Farm in Russia, which is the largest uh, poultry farm in the world. Um, they have pledged to provide us with a hatchery that we take about 1 million eggs at a time. We also have quite a number of um, other relationships with Tweety University in the Netherlands. We also have some, you know, working understanding uh, with Purdue University in the United States. Uh, we are also a member of the Oxonia, which is an Oxford Academy of Sciences um, linkage of uh, universities. Um, and then we are also working in collaboration with one of the German universities um, that is ready to help us in the area of um, um, engineering, uh, uh, engineering issues. Uh, within the country as well, we do not underestimate the fact that even within the country, you can get collaborative partners that will help you to you know, move your own activities. On this note, I want to say that for a very long time, Bayero University has been supportive to the university, which we cherish, which we actually um, um, appreciate. We are also working very closely um, with the Federal University of Technology Akure. Uh, we have uh, started a move to have some very good understanding in terms of the working relationship. We are also in, in linkage and in partnership with River State University of Science and Technology, Roost. Um, we have some basic understanding with them. Um, and not only that, uh, the most recent and the most rewarding understanding uh, with the with, with Bangkok University is worth mentioning. Uh, we are linking with Bangkok University in many areas, uh, in the area of academic issues, in the area of administrative issues, in the area of um, uh, consultancy and investment issues, and in the area of um, you know exchange of um, information and uh, strategy. And recently, uh, in collaboration with the Wakatu Public University, this university is also partnering. Uh, to get some funding um, 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 arrangement from TET fund, uh, which is on the for do improve coffee storage technology, uh, which involves uh, storing of coffee using uh, uh, no chemicals. In other words, it is a non-chemical storage uh, methodology uh, that has gone a long way. I fortunately I led that project about 15 years ago, and uh, we have covered uh, more than 10 million farmers in Africa. For further inquiries, please take note of the contact on the screen.
Nigeria High Standard Universities. Yes, Nigeria High Standard Universities. Nigeria High Standard Universities is a flagship TV program that is specially designed to promote and unveil the modern technology potentials and facilities of some specially selected Nigerian universities with high standard infrastructure and conducive learning environment. Is your school technology driven? Does your school have the required infrastructure and conducive environment that can compete with other world class universities? Would you like to show the world the level of technological development in your institution to attract international recognition? You are just one click away from the Hall of Fame. Join the list of the Nigeria High Standard Universities with Development Platform on this station. For inquiry and participation, please call 0813-482-8526-0818-708-2257-0806-283-0069. Nigeria High Standard Universities, your window to quality education and desired institution. Oh yes, this is about the size of the program for today's edition. For participation and inquiry, please take note of the contacts on your screen. Till we come your way again, I remain Sonny Kimsachi Davids. Bye for now.